and welcome to A Shave and a Song, or day number 84 of Learning to Shave with a Straight Razor. Uh, if you have found this video because you were searching for a particular musical artist, stop. Don't shut it off. Uh, I invite you to stick around, uh, listen a little bit. This is kind of a, an eclectic show where uh, each week I play a song and while I shave. And I, I know that's weird, I know it sounds a little odd, but uh, it can be a lot of fun. My hope is to introduce people to uh, maybe songs uh, or artists that are maybe a little less well-known, uh, or maybe the artist is very well-known, but the song is less well-known. Uh, and uh, Or maybe both, maybe they're both really well-known uh, and I just like the song. The point of it is, is I'm gonna be playing a lot of uh, varieties of types of music each week and uh, maybe giving you a little facts about the artist and the song as well. And just hope you enjoy it. And you also get to watch me shave or learn how to shave with a straight razor. Uh, today is day number 84, so we're coming up to that uh, famous day 100 uh, mark very soon. So, all right, today I'll be using Barrister and Man's uh, First Snow. Uh, has kind of a fur leather type uh, uh, smell, and I like it. And so I'm, I've been blooming, blooming the soap, and so we'll, we'll use some of that bloom water to kind of wet the face as I am going to be building the lather here shortly. I'll put some of that in my scuttle as well. And, oh, that's a lot. Now I got a little too much in there. All right. So today, uh, the song I'm, or the artist that I'm going to be playing is one that I'm guessing most people have have heard of this artist. Um, depending on depending on uh, your age or the genre of music, uh, the artist is uh, is Buckethead. And again, I'm guessing that a lot of you have maybe even heard have already heard of Buckethead, you know who Buckethead is. But it's interesting that Buckethead is probably one of the most famous guitarists out there, uh, and yet has never had, uh, never had a radio play, never had a hit on the charts. Although he has played with um, many other artists as well as going solo. Um, I think he probably, Buckethead probably became uh, really, really well known, I guess, probably in my opinion, uh, when Axl Rose kind of reformed Guns N' Roses, uh, but it didn't have Slash and didn't have a lot of the other members. And uh, so Buckethead was one of, the, uh, one of the guitarists from 2000 to 2004. But he's also played uh, with uh, Iggy Pop, He's played with Bootsy Collins. If you don't know who Bootsy Collins is, uh, he's, a, he's a bass player um, and got his start, um, oh, got his start a long time ago playing with uh, the, uh, now my mind's slipping away, <laughs> James Brown, James Brown. But he's also played with a lot of other bands as well uh, and a lot of solo stuff. The interesting thing about Buckethead is he was born in 1968. Uh, Brian Patrick Carroll is his name. Um, and uh, he, he got the persona Buckethead, if you don't know what I'm talking about, by he, he knew, knew how to play guitar and he had been in some bands before. And then uh, one night, uh, he was watching the 1988, 1988 horror movie Halloween 4, and uh, that's kind of how Buckethead, at least the, the yeah, that's the person that personnel persona of Buckethead came to being. He uh, he was very intrigued with the mask that Michael Myers wore, and so he went out and uh, put on bought a mask, and then for some reason added to it uh, with a. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Bucket that he tipped over and wears as a hat, and then he has a, a, a sticker, long sticker with the word funeral on it. And that's Buckethead. 
always playing with the mask, always wearing the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket as a hat. For a while there, it, it just the, the Kentucky Fried Chicken part disappeared. It was just a white bucket, but now it's back. So when you watch Buckethead perform, again, it's an interesting character. Doesn't talk. Uh, the persona is a very, very shy, uh, almost scared of people. Uh, and like I said, always wearing that mask, never see the face, never sees his face, and wearing that bucket, Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket. And then when he plays, uh, just some of the most amazing music. He, he'll play anything from shredding to uh, really, really uh, soft uh, melodic pieces to pieces where the, the fingerings just go in really, really strange progressions. Um, he, he just can do it all, and it's, it's really, really good. Um, So I'm going to go for the first pass. For those of you waiting for me to introduce the song, I do that on the second pass, uh, meaning that I, I lather the face or paint the face and then I shave and then I'll paint it again and shave and then a third pass and I'll play the song on the second pass. So stick around. I'll be introducing you to the song that I'm going to play today in just a moment. I'm going to be playing today uh, the song Kansas Storm, and that is off the 2002 album Electric Tears. Um, and there's a lot of great pieces by Buckethead that can be played. I mean, they're all they're all good. This one I particularly like because I I grew up in Kansas, and a lot of people comment, you know, on the tornadoes in Kansas and, and those, yeah, that's, I mean, you do, yeah, we get a lot of tornadoes there, but they're few and far between. And while I have seen my fair share of tornadoes, it's the storms, the, the thunderstorms that roll across the prairie in the spring and the summertime that are, those are really a sight to behold, even more so than a tornado. They are very intense. And the lightning show is just phenomenal, if you've ever ever seen one. They do a lot of tornado tours in Kansas, and I always thought, you know, man, a big old thunderstorm would almost be a better show than a tornado. Lasts a lot longer, too. But when I first heard Buckethead's Kansas Storm, <clears throat> it took me right back to one of those storms, uh, th those, those big thunderstorms with the lightning and the thunder crashes and everything. And, and the guitar playing is, uh, it's a real dirty style guitar playing. And, and I think he does an amazing job uh, letting the guitar sound both like lightning, uh, but also um, uh, the thunder and then the building and in, in the intensity of the storm. Because when you watch a storm in Kansas, you see it coming from a long way off.
so you have a little time to enjoy the buildup of the storm while you ride it out, and then you get to watch it go away. installed today and they are an hour early. So I may have to pause this and have my wife take care of it. We'll see. I'll pause this and come right back and we'll start the song. That is the, uh, the garage door people. They're early. You kind of like uh, installers that come early, I guess. They came a whole hour early. They even came early for the estimate, when they gave me the estimate earlier on in the week. So anyway, uh, when you're watching a Kansas storm, it, the buildup is, is, like I said, is amazing. Riding it out is something else, and then you get to watch it go away fade off in the distance, and all the while the lightning show is just indescribable. Uh, that's what is, is, I have never seen a lightning show anywhere else like I've seen in Kansas during a big storm. And I think Buckethead captured it really, really well in this song, Kansas Storm. You can you can almost close your eyes. If you close your eyes, you won't get to watch me shave, but maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to anyway. But if you listen to it, you can just picture this storm uh, approaching where you are, rolling across the plains, then it hits, and then it starts to fade off in the distance. And as the song comes to an end, there's a little, several times he'll do a little riff. You'll hear it where he's running the fingers on guitar, and that reminded me just spot on of the lightning, it's not just, you know, flash, flash, flash. When you're watching lightning shoot across the sky, sometimes it's, it ripples across the sky as it's going, and, and he really captured it. I don't know if he actually sat through a Kansas storm before, saw one on TV or, or, or what, but uh, uh, he did a great job. So as I am getting ready here for pass number two, I would invite you to enjoy a Kansas storm. Thank you. 
Yeah, Kansas Storm, Buckethead. What'd you think? Did you like it? I did. Like that song. He's got a lot of great tunes. Uh, some of his more uh, more well-known numbers, probably by those who really regularly listen to Buckethead, are probably uh, Soothsayer. Everybody knows Soothsayer. Or Siege Engine. Or even uh, uh, Jordan. Jordan is one where he... Uh, you know, a lot of people credit Eddie Van Halen for inventing a lot of things on the guitar. And he, he most certainly did. Uh, but Buckethead uh, uh, put a little kill switch on the guitar body, so he actually plays, instead of strumming the strings uh, with his, uh, you know, with his right hand, he's hitting this kill switch, tapping this kill switch, uh, so the, the, uh, the guitar uh, uh, pickups are either active or not, and then he's playing with his left hand the, uh, the, the melody, but it's very interrupted and stagnated with a kill switch uh, technique that he's doing, and that's uh, Jordan. Jordan, he does that on a really, really neat song. So I hope you'll uh, take a listen to Buckethead, uh, maybe search out some YouTube videos and watch him play. His concerts are usually fairly smaller uh, shows, and it's usually just him and maybe, maybe a drummer. But those who are Buckethead fans just really, really enjoy it. And like I said, he's got a lot of different different songs out there. Would have to with 304 albums. Nice shave today. Don't be alarmed, too, as if you watch a couple of Buckethead uh, videos, uh, Buckethead never talks. Uh, and Buckethead is the persona of uh, Brian Carroll. But Buckethead also has a persona, so when he's ever interviewed, he'll have a full rubber face mask, uh, and uh, he'll have the face mask talk for him. So Buckethead never talks, but the mask does the talking for him. A, a, a different mask, not the one he's wearing, a, a, a head mask. Um, and uh, it's, it's quite hilarious. So a, a persona within the persona within the man. Nice good shave today. You never know what's going to happen on a Saturday morning here. Getting a new garage door. Got to like that. Old one was just, just, it really had it. All right. Let me clean the razor real quick. And then we'll apply the aftershave. I really like the, uh, the fur and leather combination uh, fragrance from this Barrister and Man First Snow. Very, very woodsy, uh, smoky. All right, First Snow, fur and leather.
we might get some snow this weekend. And I'm going to top it off with first snow aftershave as well. Put it on kind of liberally here. I don't like that. You really get those nice, uh, nice smells. It reminds me a lot of like a, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of, you know, camping out in the mountains of Colorado and building a campfire in the evening. And this is, this is really, and just all the, the, the surrounding really reminds me of that. I like it a lot. Okay, shaving a song, Buckethead, Kansas Storm. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, shaving uh, day number 84, we're getting real close to 100. So enjoy your day, people. Enjoy your shave, and uh, check out some Buckethead.